Hello everyone, welcome back to Cat DIYs. I know it's been a little bit of time, but I figured I'd come back and show you guys how I made the scrunchie here. She is a cute satin fabric I bought a long time ago for a skirt that I was supposed to make, but completely butchered. So now I have a bunch of scraps and instead of just letting them continue to sit in my room, I decided let's just make a bunch of scrunchies. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's really simple. You can do this either with a sewing machine by hand or with fabric glue. I am just going to show you how to do it with a sewing machine because this is what I'm most comfortable with. But just want to let you know that there are options and I can link said options in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's get started. You'll need elastic, fabric scissors, and your fabric of choice, in addition to matching thread. There's always going to be, with any fabric you use, a good side and a bad side. So see how the bad side, it's not as shiny, it's a little bit more dull, but the good side is smoother and shinier than the, the, the bad side. Ugh can't speak. You want to fold with the good side facing up and then fold it halfway all the way down so that the bad side is facing up and when we do sew this tube together the bad side should be facing out and then what we're essentially going to do is turn this tube inside out. That's when it starts to look a little bit more like a scrunchie and less of this random tube. Okay, everyone, I apologize for the lack of consistency here, but I realized in the last clip, we said that we were going to sew all the way across, and we are actually not. So what I'm gonna do is sew across here on the top. I'm gonna stop at this pin, and then I'm gonna leave this much space so this way I can fold it over and it'll have a cleaner finish. So, Let's get to that. Now, what we want to do is twist it, not twist it, but turn the tube inside out so that this way it looks like this and the good sides are facing out. So it's going to look like a little egg roll. Now we're going to take our elastic and we're going to feed it through the fabric. I've already attached this. Sorry, I forgot to mention before, but I also used two safety pins to the elastic and it's just gonna hold the place of the elastic so I don't lose it. And I'm gonna take this other safety pin, pin down the other side. Now we're gonna take the elastic and we're gonna use the safety pin to kind of guide the elastic through the fabric. And after you work the elastic through the tube, you should be able to feel the safety pin and just continue to feed it through the fabric. You just need some patience, maybe some music, and it's gonna start scrunching up. You can take these off. Thank you, safety pins. Appreciate your time. And you're gonna join these two elastics together. You can either hand stitch it, sew it, glue it. The world is your oyster. All right, so now at this point, I have sewn down the edge. You can tell, you can tell, but I did it. And you want to take the raw edge and tuck it underneath the folded edge so you get a clean finish. And you can either hand sew this or glue it together, or you can sew over the folded edge. Okay, and there it is. Here is the sewed edge. I made a little boo-boo here, but that's okay. I'll tell you know it's handmade. And here's another look at the scrunchies when they're all done. Okay everyone, thank you so much for joining me. It was really fun making these scrunchies again. I haven't made them in quite some time. I am gonna be making more of these in addition to whatever I have lying around here. So if you are beginning to sew, you got some craft glue and some fabric lying around, you can make these, these scrunchies out of anything. Till next time, I'll see you guys then and it's always a pleasure. See you guys. Bye.